So I'll show you here how to program this part with the advanced bevel module of iGEMS. Uh, so first we go in and specify the, uh, the material and thickness. So here we're indicating two inch thick material. And then um, we'll just create a part. So we select these white lines represent what's going to be the top of the part and the pink lines are representing what will be the bottom of the part. So first we go through and select all the geometry for the top of the part and then hit enter. And um, that'll bring us back to the screen here where we then select other objects to represent uh, the contours that will be the bottom of the part. So the green is the top and the pink will be the bottom. And then we click on this uh, bevel icon here. It asks us to select parts. So we just click on uh, the part, brings us into this screen here where we can start making connections between the uh, top and bottom geometries. So we click on this plus sign down here and then start making our connection. So for the W, we're indicating the, uh, the top of the W and we click there and then we click on the, um, the bottom pink line and then we select a connection point between the top and the bottom. So just connect uh, two points there. And then basically you have to indicate which direction you want to go around the geometry clockwise or counterclockwise for both the top and the bottom geometries. And then you repeat that process for uh, for each of these cuts here. So again, we select the, uh, the top geometry and then hover the mouse to select the bottom geometry. Uh, connect top and bottom geometries by clicking a point on each of those geometries and then hover the mouse to indicate whether you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise around each of those geometries. And eventually, once we get all these programmed, we'll go back and we'll add our lead-ins. The lead-ins uh, can be added at uh, connection points. So when you're selecting these connection points, um, ideally you want to select at least one connection point, which is uh, where you want to have your lead-in. Uh, so in these situations where we've got sharp inside corners, we um, that's why I'm selecting those intersection points on um, this eye. We can, being a water-only application on this one, we can select going into a corner or we can select a midpoint wherever you want to put, uh, put your lead in. So again, top and bottom geometry and select your connection points and then hover your mouse to indicate whether you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise around uh, that geometry. And we'll just continue on here in that manner for the uh, rest of these cuts. And then in this, if you ever screw something up, don't get your connections right or screw up on the uh, directions. Um, you can just, when you're back in the other screen there, hit on the minus key to um, remove that path and then just add it again. So you can see that I've uh, not connected that those geometries correctly. So I can just hit the minus key to delete and then hit the plus sign again to, uh, to do it over. So top and then bottom, and then pick a connection point from top to bottom hover the mouse to indicate clockwise or counterclockwise for each top and bottom geometry, and that looks better. And finally for the inside, we got the T, top and bottom, connection point from corner to corner, top to bottom, and then again, hover the mouse to go clockwise or counterclockwise. And then for the outside, got a nice corner here to lead in on, so we'll select a uh, connection point from that, uh, that corner there, and then I can use my snaps if I want to snap to a quadrant on that circle on the bottom. And we'll go clockwise around the uh, outside, top and bottom. So there we've got the uh, basic geometries defined. And once we've got that, the next step is to add our uh, lead-ins for those various cuts. So we can close and come back here. The next icon across on the bevel module is the cut icon, which is how you add your lead-ins. So we click on the part and um, down towards, we can do tilted or vertical thing. We'll do um, tilted piercings on these. Um, we're doing a ruled bevel since we're connecting non um, or uh, bevels which are not 
uh, constant. So and then we just go through and click where we want to have our lead ends and what side of the uh, line we want the, uh, the curve to be offset. So then you can just very quickly go through the same thing for each of those cuts. And um, if you ever do want to change either lead in length or lead out length, you can just click your mouse to drag the uh, lead in out, or you can type in a number for your yeah, lead in length. So here, if I want to come in more of an angle, I can just uh, hold my mouse and indicate that. If I don't want a lead, lead out, I can just type zero for lead out. And uh, so it's very easy to modify your lead ins if you need to. And for the final inside cut, we've got the T, we'll put that on the corner there. And then finally the outside, put it on that corner there. And all the leads are done, so we can close out of here. And then we just need to set our uh, zero, zero point on the part. And then we can click on the process button to create the code can also do a, a simulation, go into the a 3D area and do a, a 3D simulation so you can verify the motions of the cutting head. So you can use a slider at the bottom to um, increase the speed on the, um, the dry run. Um, you can also just pause the program and go down to a specific line of code if you want to skip ahead to somewhere. So, for example, if we wanted to just see what the outside cut's going to look at, look like, we can just find where that is, hit pause, and scroll down and click on the start of that geometry and just dry run through that portion of it. So. So that's how you would uh, program a part like this with the advanced uh, bevel module of iGEMS. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.